Hi everybody, this is Everyday Commentary, and this is a video talking about an upcoming shootout. And you can see in front of you, there's some stuff here. Uh, there is a Doan paper notebook, Grids Plus Lines. This is uh, my favorite, my favorite format. Uh, I have some article ideas in here. This is a sealed pack of Night Sky Field Notes Edition, which is a really awesome, uh, probably my favorite of the field notes that are out there. This is a Notco Lookout, and it's a pen case. And inside the Notco Lookout are the three pens that are in the shootout. The first is a titanium uh, shaker from Tap to Turn. The second is an aluminum uh, bolt pen from Mad Maxco or Max Madco. And then the final is the Keras Customs EDK. And the reason I selected all of these pens is because in my mind, they are um, the best or among the best uh, everyday carry pens if you don't want to go with a fountain pen. And I understand why people don't. I get it. I don't think it's all that big a deal, but I understand that people don't like fountain pens. And so a lot of people ask me for recommendations on pens, and my basic advice to them is that you should get one of these three pens. And I'm trying to figure out which one of these is the best. And as it is right now, uh, I'm in the middle of testing them. So last week I used this one exclusively, this week I used this one exclusively, and next week I'm going to use this one exclusively. So I'll have a better idea. I mean, I've used all of these and reviewed all of these, so it's not like this is totally new. But my idea is to figure out which one of these is uh, the best. Um, you can get other EDC pens out there. You can get, like, tactical pens. Uh, but I found that most of the time the tactical pens are really, really painful to use. Um, the one that I have, I have the, uh, the uh, Tough Rider Ultimate Clicky, and it is much less tactical than something like the Hinderer Investigator pen or the Embassy, uh, County Comp Embassy pen or the, uh, the uh, Tough Rider, uh, the other Tough Rider pen where it has like sharp points and crenellations. I find those things to be really useless. They're kind of like bullshit. Uh, but so many of the pens out there right now have that stuff and it's just painful to use and carry. The other thing is a lot of the pens that, that are in the tactile genre, the ta tactical genre, have um, Fisher Space Pen inserts and I hate the Fisher Space Pen inserts. So all of these are running something different. This is, these two are running uh, Schmidt Easy Flows. I think this one is actually running the blue, the blue um, Fisher Space Pen insert but only because I ran out of the Easy Flows. I'm gonna hopefully be able to get them restocked. But um, I just think that this is the right size and this is the right shape for a non-fountain pen, EDC pen. Uh, these are all basically, as you can see, basically the same size. This one is thinner, but these two are a little thicker. They all have, you know, bolt-on, high durability, uh, thick clips. And two of them are bolt-on clips. And this one's a, uh, uh, a washer style clip so you unscrew the uh, cap and it comes out. Interesting to note that these two use a Schmidt knock and the Schmidt knock is the one that a lot of these pens like the Matthew Martin pen and the Tough Rider pen it's the one that all of these use. It's really a good knock. This one uses uh, Jim Madrid's, uh, that's Mad, Max Madco, uh, his proprietary uh, bolt system and I will tell you that this is one slick amazing design. Um, I've, I've handled the uh, the Brian Fellholter uh, bolt action pen and I've handled the Keras Customs bolt action pen and I can tell you that this is just leagues better. It's much less obtrusive, it's very low profile, it's one of those things that it's easy to do but it's hard to accidentally activate which is the perfect design. So uh, it'll be interesting to see which one wins uh, going into it, I have no idea which one is going to win. I can tell you that this one is probably the best in terms of fit and finish. Clearly better than this one and probably better than this one. But I can also say that I think I like the, 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 the knock mechanism on this one better than these two. And then this clip is just way, way beefier than anything you'd ever need. But it's not so beefy that it's really obtrusive. So all three of these things look like they will work well. They all have highlights, they all have things that make them less awesome than the others. Uh, so it's just a matter of figuring out which is the best when you add everything up. I, I think that, you know, this is the pen that this is the pen that got the best score, but the scores are all so close, and the more I use them, the more information I get. So 
it's uh it's gonna be interesting i don't know which one will win hopefully we'll get the uh the shootout up sometime in december so look for that and uh, if you need a review of any of these pens you can just go to the website